standing room only crowd at the Carlson Center was on hand Sunday as the University of Alaska Fairbanks held their 90th commencement exercises. New Center 11's Darrell Lewis was there and has more. Thanks. The old saying goes, my, how time flies. And for this reporter, has it really been 25 years since he took a similar walk? Only those shindigs were held at the Patty Center and not at the Carlson Center behind me, which hadn't even been built yet. And now 25 years later, in 2013, a May Day, Mother's Day, we honor those taking those first steps into the future. Standing room only crowd and for a brief time, more graduates and faculty than there were chairs. Those I spoke to come from different parts of the state and even the world for that matter, all called it a tremendous milestone. Oh, I feel it's really good. I think I finally I done, I graduate, and now I think I can pay back to the society. I can be find a job and get some pay back to my parents. I'm really good. Uh, happy to, to graduate from here. Uh, you know, I just come here for two years. Uh, it's a very beautiful city. So I love it. And while some say they're not all the way there, this day holds meaning as well. I'm halfway there. I'm a dual degree seeking student, so I've just finished my associates and I'm still working on my bachelor's degree here at UAF. But it's nice to at least be half done and be able to march on a Mother's Day and at least give my mom a, a bit of the action. I spent the last two years studying renewable energy and I'm very excited to be graduating with this class. And as I mentioned earlier, one word, time. Thomas Hughes hails from the southeast part of the state and says it took a while to get to this point. This milestone's everything for me. You know, I was a returning student in my mid-20s and, you know, had aspirations of being a college graduate. And uh, it was just such a long road to get to this point. But, you know, today's just that celebration. So it's pretty amazing for me. For others, the sacrifice getting here has been even greater. Brain tumor surgery knocked me off out of school for a few years. And I finally came back this year to to get the risk. Going through those hardships right there, what that means to finally have that, getting that piece of paper. Uh, I, I so want to go back to the village and show the kids if I could do it, they could do it. 